I suppose it would be fair to say that Randallstown is here because of the River Main. The town really developed as a textile centre. There are mills all around this, this area. The viaduct fell into complete disuse after the last uh, train uh, left in the late 1950s. Then in 1998, uh, it was reopened again um, as a footpath and cycleway. Taddy Randallstown is an environmental group. We have been working for the last 10 years at improving the environment in Randallstown. We were after a wonderful social space. Up here was just somewhere waiting to be developed. And in a way, we think of our tiny little gardens as part of a necklace, but this would be the, the jewel in, in our necklace. I was very, very pleased to be on the judging panel. This Randallstown pitch was so vibrant, and it just, for me, leapt off the page. I come from a family of gardeners. My dad grew everything. He grew vegetables, he grew flowers, and anything that I know about gardening, and I love, I love my garden. Um, I learned from him, really, so I think it's fantastic. I, I'm very excited about it myself. So we have come on board as the designers for this. We have listened to the community in terms of what they would like to do with the space. Our sort of main ideas are, are really around, you know, making this space more usable for the community and a place that they might want to dwell and spend time. Basically, the grass strip is only three metres wide, so just about the width of a bus shelter. So the challenge for us has been how, how do we achieve that result of slowing people down in the space and so by introducing cross pathways and linking paths back across this central grass reservation, uh, by doing that we're, we're giving people more time to spend there. The garden I feel is going to have the right balance between usability for people who are maybe not as interested in garden but also it'll create more usable space for the Randallstown community. We wouldn't have applied for this garden if we hadn't thought it was possible. We hadn't quite thought of such a short time frame but we're a very adaptable people in this town and where there's a will there's a way so I have absolutely no doubt in the world that we're going to be ready. It's going really well. We're kind of in the middle of it now. People can start to see what we were really on about at the design stage, so we're really pleased with progress. A lot of the structural pieces are now in place, and that's really what we have focused on. We, uh, we don't particularly need the community so much in these early stages. We want to get all the structures and hardscape in. So we're very much at nearly completed in that sense so the next stage will be ground preparation and then bringing the community in for the planting element and giving them real ownership of the project then from from this stage on that yes yeah, so we've got our brass arches in um, so just to create that linear draw down through the space, we'll be able to pick these up as you go down through the garden. Um, and just to create a wee bit of vertical emphasis in the space, that's very much all horizontal. So we'll get them bolted down and hopefully they'll, <laughs> they'll make something of it. It's all happening. There's excitement from early in the morning until late at night. I have been pinching myself ever since we heard the RHS garden was coming. <laughs> There's nowhere left to pinch. And uh, no, every time I come along the viaduct path, I see something different. And I'm just full of awe and wonder that it's looking so amazing. Everybody is saying to us, when is this garden going to open? We can't wait to see it. What are you hiding up there? Mainfold is um, an over 55s independent living complex. It's going to be a wonderful transformation for us here in Randallstown. 
shops and at the moment it's just really a walk-through corridor whereas once it was transformed into a garden we'll be able to take our picnics up there and um, sit and um, enjoy the views. There's various groups around the town have contributed to this. Well, we're going to be meeting new folk and new interests and it'll just open up a whole new world to us. But it's going to be really great whenever the viaduct opens because it'll be somewhere different. Because no matter how much you go up and down the river path and it is beautiful, it'll be lovely to have somewhere different to go. Sit and watch the people go past and it's good for the children and that. And I think it'll be good for the community to just get out and about and look at all the lovely and wonderful flowers that's going to be created in Randallstown. Tidy Randallstown is a fantastic community group um, and we're privileged to be their education partner. They have given our children so many opportunities um, to develop an interest in gardening and an interest in their community. The school garden is for everyone to come together and sit down and relax in it. I like gardening because when you plant it, it looks quite dull, but when you start seeing it and the colours coming out, it looks really fantastic. The Viaduct project is just incredibly exciting. Um, we are thrilled to be part of it. I think the viaduct will be really good because it's very dull looking at the moment and it'll look so much better when it's all done up. We've got five days and we're confident we will, we will deliver. It looks like a bit of a bombshell at the minute, but we're trying to get it. Uh, we're confident we'll deliver this on time. Yeah, we're looking good here in terms of where we're at with plants going in the ground and loads of community members here as well. Just uh, really impressed with their level of attention to detail. Planting is going really well. We're having great fun. Everybody's working very, very hard, but we're going to do it. Yeah, it's going really well. We felt on Wednesday maybe progress was a bit slower, but since then we've really um, upped the game. We've got lots of volunteers out. It just shows you what can happen when a lot of people come together, work together, listen to each other and get cracking. We, we seem to be on track here, so calm for now. <laughs> It'll be a good place for everybody to come and relax and just look at all the plants and all the decorations. <laughs> It looks really well because like the arches are there for the train and the way he's dead for the wheelchairs and the prams looks really well. Maybe some like art classes could come down and draw some photos of them and maybe geography classes could come down for a wee walk. This is really good for Randallstown because like it brings in nature and it's just lovely to the town. You're always sort of reluctant to you know, over promise and then under deliver, but I think this is one instance where what we have promised in the imagery is, has shone through on the design as it is installed, so no, we're delighted with the result. So time's second, but I think we, we'll make it. <laughs> So it's great to be over the finish line and, and just to allow, really, the, literally to allow the dust to settle for a few hours before the big reveal. We kind of went for a very low impact design with a few key elements that really give it the wow factor. So the likes of the arches were probably one of the big ticket items within that budget. But then a lot of the other things were you know, just having the right type of planting. I think you can't underestimate how much potential this green space will have. The RHS have gifted Randallstown an amazing space 
a garden on this viaduct transcends and elevates this space beyond what it was originally intended for and it gives more back to the community than the original function of the viaduct. So we're excited for it to go live or go open today and for people to really take ownership of this space because the key outcome of this is that the people of Randallstown own this space and, and that will be the real, uh, the real sense of whether it's been a success or not. So it gives me great pleasure uh, to officially open Elevation, the Viaduct Community Garden. Absolutely amazing. I, I, I thought it would maybe just be little plots of eight of the length of this. I didn't realise it would really be landscaped and, and space made for the likes of me on a get to see over the town. Wonderful. Well I just love plants for a start and the way it's designed is absolutely fabulous. It's, it's something we can enjoy on a daily basis out for a walk with the dogs or whatever. Uh, so it's, it's, it's just adds to the, the overall uh, atmosphere of the town. I think it's an absolutely wonderful transformation. It's really nice. It's a walk that I'm used to doing regularly and to see it all planted out like this is, is really lovely. So thrilled that the community came out in their droves. I don't know how many we've had across the viaduct today but it's fabulous and everybody's so supportive and so thrilled with the garden. Um, the comments that I've had is that it really fits the space which is just exactly what you want after all. What a day, what an exciting day. How amazing to be here and look at the crowds who've come to see the garden. We can be more delighted and more excited. Yes, we're absolutely thrilled with how the garden has turned out. The space has actually um, created a, more of a social area for the town. We never expected that you could actually bring an event to this area. And now we've got this lovely social event space and uh, it has just turned out fantastic. What the gift of a garden has done for us, I can't really put it into words. It is immense what RHS has done for this town. I had five new volunteers working on the viaduct yesterday morning. I can say that that brought tears to my eyes. The idea was that we would draw different people in and it's happening already. Thank you RHS, we enjoy growing flowers and we enjoy growing community. I would say community gardening is probably the most important thing the RHS does. It's bringing together people for their health and well-being, the gardens are good for the environment, for the planet and it just creates a space where people can come, escape, play, enjoy and just get all the benefits of access to nature. The early indications are people are enjoying the space and have free flow between the two areas of, of garden, so we're delighted so far. There's been a, an amazing uh, team effort here, you know, a collaboration between community and, and our design team and I think very much so the success of this RHS programme has given people the opportunity to be together uh, and just create the platform by which people can interact more and, and gardening really is the nucleus of it.